Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Eddie Marcus one more time, and I got a question I'd like to share with you. What makes a Ford a Ford? All of those special things that Ford has, that has a little label on it that says Ford. What makes a Chevy a Chevy? All the little things that separates it from a Ford and all of the cars makes it a Chevy. Now, occasionally, there are certain cars that might make parts that can be interchangeable throughout other vehicles. But there are certain things that makes a car that car. What makes your wife your wife? Is it she says she loves you and she took a, a vow and signed on a dotted line or something? Well, what makes a government a government? What is a government? A government is a system of operation when it comes down to people that has concerns, common concerns over all of the people. Basically those things that protect the people, secure them, uh, and play a major role in their survival. This is government's responsibility. And the government is the consent of the people for their own protection. The people agree that certain things are essential for their government for their system of operation and basically and, and and we all say that because what it's based on the principle or the premise of the only government the one government see chevy can't make ford ford can't make chevy you see what i'm saying so human beings were made from by god and it is because god made them did god put the blueprint in operation for them to work properly and successfully God designed that God designed it so that being special God human beings would have their wants I'm saying it again their needs and their desires met now look at that again your wants what do you want oh let me see God saying you can have it what are your needs oh man you know what your needs are God says you can have it what are your desires God says you can have it. The only requirement is that your needs, your wants, and your desires does not infringe upon the needs, the wants, the desires of others. Simple as eating cotton candy. Now what does that mean? That basically means that this real government was designed in such a way that those things that are essential for survival like food, clothing, shelter, you need it to survive, wouldn't you all agree? would be met, guaranteed, assured. I mean, the plan was set up so you would never have to worry without it unless you chose to. Then education. Well, there might be a lot of other things too, but education is essential as far as making us and helping us to be better at whatever it is we have been given to do or choose to do. And next is health care. Health care, nobody want to be sick. Sickness is something else. It can get you down, brother. It can really mess you up. So everybody's concerned about health care from the womb to the tomb. It would be nice if I could lay hands on that person that got cancer and that cancer run. It would be nice if I could lay hands on that person who had rheumatism, arthritis, or a person who had the MS, or and they ran, but it doesn't. God was aware of that, so he gave some people some knowledge and said, go find out this, go do research this, because my people are going to be coming to you needing some health care, and I want you to take care. That's what he said. That, well, forgive me for saying he. That's what God said. I don't know nothing about God being a he. My enemy taught me that God was a he. My enemy allowed in the book about God to tell me that God looked like me, but they put a picture of him in a book looking like them. What's over that? Anyway, that's just to go ahead and tell you about the fake government, the imposter government. Well, we have these things, ladies and gentlemen. Out of what I just got through describing with you would come peace because justice would be there. Prosperity because everybody was engaged. Freedom because you can do what you want to do. Just don't infringe on the rights of others. Joy of life. You got your job. You know it. Everybody loves it. You love it. You can't get enough of it. And because of all of that, our dreams are met. And out of that, no lies. How many times you hear me say this? No cheating, no stealing, no killing. 
No setting up for hatred and racism and bigotry. Nobody trying to be better than anybody else. All of this stuff. Now this lying and cheating and, and all of this crime and violence and hatred and bigotry, all that comes from the counterfeit government. That's the counterfeit government. They are not concerned about all of the people. That's God's government. God's government is concerned about all the people. Why? Because God made all of the people. The counterfeit government is concerned about the counterfeit itself and enough people to empower it to do what it wants to do. And in doing what it wants to do, it promises those that empower it that they will bless them from that which they take from those who they are oppressing. So you got this counterfeit government set up, not longer of the people, but by an individual or a party that um, lies and cheats and schemes and manipulate other people to go along with it, who are willing to lie, cheat, and steal, do anything to coerce that which belongs to another into their own cupboards. That's the counterfeit government, ladies and gentlemen. That is every government on the face of the earth. And in that system, there are those talking about justice, but the things that they do in regards to their conversation will not bring justice. There are people who are talking about prosperity, but the things that they talk about and allow will not per per permit prosperity. Freedom of choice in their efforts to bind and control and manipulate, people do not have that freedom. And joy no, you find a job wherever they let you wherever you can and you're trying to find enough money to be able to pay, uh, give you some measure of life. That's joy. No. And your dreams come true after having watched all of those who are privileged sell high and you sell down. And then God comes out and show you just what's been going on as he did with George Floyd. The world is under judgment. America is under judgment. This is a counterfeit government. This is a counterfeit government. And God has given us a chance here in America to change this government from what it is, this counterfeit, to a true government. Now, you cannot change this government to a true government with a Republican or a Democrat. Now, I know what your constitution is set up to do. Your constitution is set up to guarantee a fake government. Your constitution is designed to install a counterfeit government. This is a counterfeit government. And now that we've always known, but not all of us have always known, but as of May 25th, the killing and murder and execution and hanging of George Floyd by the powers of America that represents the powers of the world. God was revealing to us that all of our systems are counterfeit. God is revealing to the churches of America that your system that you're operating in is counterfeit. And what you are doing is doing nothing to eradicate this problem. God is saying not to just the your church. He's talking to all churches. All churches. You are living in the midst and operating in the midst of a cancer. And whatever you're doing is doing nothing to get you out of this cancer or to eliminate this cancer. So you have a hypocrite government. A fake government. So what are you going to do with that information? That was the key. I mean, God wasn't just showing you this just to be showing it to you like he had, that God had nothing to do that day. This is for you to make a decision. Now, everything I have heard since May 25th that comes up to this very date right here, I heard nobody, nobody talk about a new system. I must admit, I've heard some people on the reference of new things, new systems, Systematic change, these things that we recognize in our government, in our system, are based upon some principles that cause these things to happen. And in order to get rid of them, you're going to have to make some major changes in all those areas. 
and it would be very difficult trying to make changes in all those areas. In all of those areas, all you got to do is change the government. And once you change the government, make the government a proper government, you're, hey, you're on the straight and narrow. So you can get where you're trying to go. So I'm telling all Americans, you don't want to hear me say this. I'm telling you your system is corrupt. I'm telling you God has pointed it out to you. God is asking you and giving you an opportunity to say what you want done. You don't have to get on your knees and pray. You just say by your actions what you want done. You keep on going Republican and Democrat, that means you are against God. Let me say you again. You keep on going Republican and Democrats, you are against God. Every last one of you know that God might love Donald Trump. And I say you might know that because you're not really well aware of what God is. But God made Donald Trump. Donald Trump's dad is shaking. But God loves Donald Trump. And God is just as concerned about saving Donald Trump as he is of saving you. It might be a little bit easier to get you than Donald Trump. But, nevertheless, it's the same thing. So all that's going on in America, all of those billionaires and trillion, millionaires and millionaires and everybody having a good time, because there are people who make big, big, big money. Why do they, why they pay that big money? Why they pay that big money? Because they play a major role in your dumbness. They play a major role in your ignorance and keeping you down. And so they get paid good money. Good money. But that has nothing to do with God. So what am I telling you about God? God has a government where everybody, as I just mentioned to you. Now, is that going to happen on earth here? I don't know. But someplace, there are some people who stand up for God every day. Gandhi, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, that's the name of a few. God ain't killed those people and left them, left them somewhere. Those are heroes, God's heroes. And you think they dead just because they're not down here in this hell with us? Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, this is hell. And I'm trying to get you to see it. But I heard a young lady say, on one Sunday morning, Sunday school class. People love one another. People love God, but they're not ready to, re to meet their maker. And if you're not ready to meet your maker, it's because you don't know your maker. You've been pretending like you know your maker, but you don't. How many of you are ready to meet your maker today? How many of you are ready, America, to meet your maker? Well, and if you are, you don't have the evidence Unless you're out there lying and cheating and shooting people down in the street and just doing stuff that doesn't make any sense. Acting like a devil. But any good people out there, let me ask you, good people, they say good people. You know they say good people allow evil to prevail because they do nothing. Let me ask you, good people, how many of you ready to meet your maker? Well, if you're not ready to meet your maker, boy, they gonna, the devil going to do it to you a long time. The devil going to do it to you until you are ready to meet your maker. And once you're ready to meet your maker, it's over because you're not going to take it anymore. And until you do that, you are not thinking about God. you just pretending. Ladies and gentlemen, now, I got, now, let me see. You hear what I just said, right? Now, you know the regular people just don't want to hear that. All of the preachers in America don't want to hear that. I don't care who you are. Taplo, Dollar, uh, Joy, whoever her name is, uh, Osteen, whoever, all these guys have got a game going. Yeah, they've got a game going, and you know what? They're being paid. Look at them. They're being paid. Look at Osteen's accounts. Look at T.D. Jakes. Look at all the big preachers, the mega church. Look how much they're being paid. It's all about money. They ain't doing a darn thing for God. They're just running their mouths, keeping the people in bondage. Keeping the people in bondage. I turn my radio on and hear people preaching and it just make you sick to hear those people lying. To hear those preachers talking about God as if they God is a devil. They don't know anything about God. I oh, know you don't want to hear this stuff. I wish I could tell you some good news. And if I can, the only good news I can tell you is this. I'm doing everything I possibly can to see if we can switch the system. So all of you Black, white, men, women, straight and gay. Gonna be glad to be alive. I'm doing it all I can. I can't do everything, but I'm doing all I can. 
And if I end up losing my life doing all I can, God dog it, I can't wait. <laughs> Talk to you later.